All right, we're gonna have a rapid fire video here where all the work is already shown out for how to write the Riemann sum notation for this definite integral. Okay, so one way to write the Riemann sum notation would be by using a right Riemann sum that didn't specify whether we would use right or left. If you wanna use a right, then this is going to be your formula for changing your definite integral into a right Riemann sum. We can go over why it's like that, but let's just start off with how to do it. Okay, so first thing first is we got to talk about how it kind of looks like this f of x is matching up with this and it kind of looks like the dx is matching up with the delta x. Okay, but we need to identify what the f of x is. So in our problem, we can clearly see that the f of x is the x squared plus one. So I wrote that down right here. f of x equals x squared plus one. Also, we need to identify what the a and b are. So a and b in this problem will be one and five. And there's a formula for our delta x. The formula is b minus a over n. So in our case, it's gonna be five minus one over n. This is gonna end up being four over n. So that's the very first thing that I ended up doing. I ended up plugging in four over n right over here. Okay, the next thing that I plugged in was where I saw delta x showing up again, right there. And I also plugged in the a, the a is one, but now I keep the k and I can clean this up a little bit. I can make it one plus k times four over n or one plus four k over n. But I gotta remember that it's really supposed to be f of whatever. So if f of x is equal to x squared plus one, well, then that means f of blah, 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 all this junk is gonna end up equaling all that junk squared plus one. And as you can see, I put that right in there for you. So that is all your f of whatever, but that's gotta be multiplied by the four over n. So instead of putting a multiplication symbol, what I did is I just wrapped it in brackets. Could have used parentheses, but I did bracket, just so you can clearly see the difference between that and the parentheses. And now that's right next to the four over n, but I still have to put my limit and my sigma, and then that's it. You now figured out what the right Riemann sum notation is for this guy right here. So in another video, we can talk about why the formula would be like this, but this is how you do it. Don't forget to like it if you like it.